Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 guide. And this video is going to be about how can you promote legendary bosses into 3 stars. I'm going to show you. Alright, so yesterday I heard that you can promote legendary bosses. Actually, I saw this video from Polar Bear Iglo. A shout out to him. I will add the link description below so you can check the source video if you are interested. And at first, I thought this would be some sort of clickbait video because I have never heard of such a thing before. But after I watched the video, I got very intrigued and I decided to test it out to see how it works or if it actually works. And for my surprise, it actually works, but there are specific rules to make it happen. If you don't follow them closely, then you won't be able to promote any legendaries. But overall, you just have to die to a legendary boss that is inside of an instance. But let's take a better look of the rules. So the first one, the legendary has or must be inside of an instance area. Open world ones do not seem to get affected by it. Then the legendary has to be a one star or two stars. Again, uh, no stars legendaries don't seem to be promoted once you die to them. And then every time you die to a legendary, it's not a 100% chance that it will get promoted. There is around a 50% chance, I would say. And the last rule is that you can expect to get double loot from any legendary you promote. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but in one of the legendaries I promoted, I actually got double loot. And it was pretty good. So let's get into the actual testing. So first things first, I needed to find a legendary that is suitable for this testing. And here at West Tech, inside the facility, I found these two stars. And then I proceeded to kill everything that is a normal, you know, normal mobs. And then I found yet another uh, two uh, stars. So it's the perfect scenario, but it took me a while to find uh, something alike. I was around one hour searching for a legendary that sweets... Uh, other rules it's really not easy to find a one star or two stars inside an instance at least i don't think it is that easy but it's a chance to uh, get a three star legendary and even double loot so at the end of the day it's about risk management i would say so would you rather you know try your luck and spend one two hours farming locations and you never know what you're gonna get or would you rather find a legendary like this and try to promote him which will eventually happen and then get a two star three star item or even two items so yeah the choice is yours anyway i'm just talking about how everything works but if you have this costume hooded rags you can just equip it and all your armor pieces will uh go into your inventory so that's a very quick way to unequip all your gear and then you have to die to the legendary that you want to promote don't forget to spawn in an area that is not West Tech if you are doing it here. It should be a different location to give the boss a chance to uh, like promote itself. I don't know how it works exactly, but it's like it spawns again or something alike. I'm not sure. But then you have to come back to the original location, so two fast travels. And if it works, you will see that the boss has been promoted. And there he is. He was a two stars and now he is a three stars. I went to check the other guy because he was also a two stars and I didn't die to him just yet. And I found out that he was still two stars as I expected. So I tried to do the same exact thing to find him first and then die to him to give him a chance to promote himself. I also came across this random guy here, which I had to kill. And then I went to search for him. And it's not this one for sure. 
And make no mistake, without armor, you are a very easy target and you will go down very, very quickly if you are fighting high level enemies. And there he is. So I just died to him. And again, I spawn at a nearby location and then I came back to Aztec. I'm just cutting all the details so I don't end up with a 20 minute video. And we are back here and as usual, our first guy is there with his three stars now. And then the other one should have three stars, but it didn't. So the 50% chance kind of hit me here and nothing really happened to him. And I tried to die one more time to see uh, if he would promote himself this time. So the same procedure as every day. I mean, as every time in this video. So go again to a nearby location, come back. It's quite tedious, but as I said, the reward, I think it's quite worth it. But it's up to you to judge what you think it's worth or not. So again, I went to look for him. And this time, he became a three star. Mm. Perfect. So now I have two three stars here with me at West Tech. And it should run here. But I kind of got stuck and he one shot me. I'm not sure how. I guess he hits really hard because he's now a three star boss. <laughs> so don't forget to equip your armor back and come back to kill them because uh, it's quite difficult to kill them without armor so just go ahead and give them everything you have and as you can see a three star high level item it's not 50 but 45 it's quite high and again some random guys uh, will spawn every now and then and then I proceed to kill the second one and he's a really hard bastard. He almost killed me again and I was full armored. Also blocking is a very, very buggy lately, I'm not sure. And as you can see, double dude. So a three star armor piece and a two stars. I was like, wow, I'd never received two legendary items from a single legendary boss so this was my first time and i'm very sure it's related to um what i'm doing maybe it's because i died accidentally a third time to him you know he was already a three star and then i died to him again uh, it wasn't on purpose i was actually trying to run away but then i got stuck and he won't hit me so maybe that's what happened here but i will have to test it again in the meanwhile the servers are down for patching and i will have to test even new things so i will leave that testing for another time but here is the knowledge for you and to make even more testings i came here to the general steakhouse where i found this normal legendary and i tried to promote him just to be sure of one of the rules which states that the legendary has to be at least one or two stars and i died several times to him and nothing really happened he never got one star he never got promoted it, he just stayed the way he, he is and well i'm not sure which uh it's it's the case but it's probably both you know uh because he's not in an instance and because he has no stars uh to begin with so that's my testing for the rules and they are perfectly viable so don't waste your time trying to promote legendaries that are not inside instances or that do not have one star at least i mean you can try and see if something happens you never know with fallout 76 there seems to be so many secrets and strange things going on but i don't think it will work i tried this several times even with another um location and i never got any results with no stars uh bosses and this is my last testing for this video 
So here outside of the West Tech facility, I found a low level legendary in survival mode and I died to him a couple of times, but again, he never got promoted. So I'm quite sure that it doesn't work when you are outside of instances. I'm quite confident that the rules are true and if you follow them, you will be able to uh, promote everything you want to um, three stars and farm epic gear this way now i'm not sure if this is an exploit or if it's a bug whatever it is if it is an exploit i'm very sorry because i am not uh fond of them i have never covered any exploits in the past in this channel i don't do them myself in game so it would be a shame if it is i hope it's just you know like something that people didn't know about but it actually works I mean, it would make sense because, you know, NPCs, they have, uh, like, tears, so if they kill players, they get stronger. I think it would make sense, but who knows? Anyway, that's going to be everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed this information. I was very surprised yesterday when I first understood that this actually works. So now I have a new way to try and get a 3-star um, items for myself and try to improve my gear. I'm still a bit behind too many 2-stars for my taste. I am Marta Branco. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye bye!